This video may seem like something out of science fiction, but Neuralink has turned it into reality with its groundbreaking brain implants. Welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're diving into the 2024 Neuralink update, a fascinating tech medical integration of brain computer implants. Neuralink Corp has just announced that they are actively looking for potential volunteers to join their upcoming clinical trials. Curious about what these brain implants are and the limits volunteers might need to cross to participate? Watch until the end to find out. But before we delve into the details, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the ever-evolving world of technology. Let's jump right in. What is this Neuralink brain chip? The primary function of Neuralink is indeed aimed at assisting paralyzed individuals, but its applications extend beyond that. While the concept of brain implants might seem complex, neuroscientists have been exploring these developments since the 1970s. Neuralink, established in 2016, has taken a significant step forward by introducing the idea of flexible threads that can be implanted into the brain. They've developed a specialized robot, similar to a sewing machine, for the implantation process. What are the main objectives? Neuralink has conducted a precise, robotically implanted brain-computer interface study for this game-changing production of an implantable, wireless brain-computer interface. This study is a pivotal step in evaluating the safety of both the implant and the surgical robot utilized in the process. The company's focus is not only on safety but also on assessing the initial functionality of its brain-computer interface. The ultimate goal is to empower individuals with paralysis, enabling them to control external devices seamlessly using their thoughts. In other words, the main focus of Neuralink is to read signals from the brains of paralyzed individuals. These signals are then transmitted to a technological device, granting patients the ability to control it with their thoughts. Remarkably, this technology eliminates the need for physical actions like lifting a finger, swapping, or tapping. Instead, patients can simply think about the actions they want to perform, providing a revolutionary way for paralyzed individuals to interact with and control devices. Similar to the process with many human-centric inventions, Neuralink's BCI underwent initial trials on animals. Despite seeking permission for their first human trials from the Food and Drug Administration, approval was initially rejected due to the concerns that were raised regarding the tiny wires of the initial implant, as there was a worry they might impact other areas of the brain. However, Neuralink continued with further animal trials. Eventually, in May 2023, they secured approval to proceed with human trials. The Concerns of Animal Cruelty During Trials after announcing their decision to proceed with human trials, the nonprofit health organization Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine raised concerns about the impact on animal trials. They highlighted a thoroughly documented history of animal mistreatment and poorly conducted scientific studies. The group asserted that they had obtained internal records disclosing agonizing and deadly experiments carried out on monkeys by Neuralink, prompting federal agencies to launch investigations. Furthermore, several employees have reported concerns about the number of pigs and monkeys utilized in the trials, noting an alarmingly high rate of suffocated deaths. In response to these inquiries, Elon Musk stated, no monkey has died as a result of a Neuralink implant. He even acknowledged that they chose monkeys close to death to minimize risks to healthy monkeys during the early trials. In addition, the Department of Transportation has raised questions regarding the proper disposal of removed implants from animal trials. They are inquiring whether these implants are packaged and removed safely, given the high risk of transmitting pathogens from the implants used on animals. However, despite these complaints, the company successfully addressed the concerns and obtained permission to commence human trials. Is the brain implant safe for humans? Experts in the field have highlighted that one of the major risks associated with brain implants is the potential for infections. They point out that even if the device remains on the surface of the brain, there is a possibility of causing conditions such as inflammation and immune responses at varying levels. Who will be eligible for these human trials? Given Elon Musk's goal of assisting paralyzed patients, the trials are specifically designed for individuals facing similar conditions. Therefore, volunteers must be individuals experiencing quadriplegia due to cervical spinal cord injury or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. To facilitate the recruitment process, they have developed a website for patient registration for these clinical trials. 
On the website, it is mentioned that you may qualify for the trials if you have limited or no ability to use both hands due to cervical spinal cord injury. However, it's important to note that the eligibility criteria for registry participation extend beyond quadriplegia due to cervical spinal cord injury. Anyone aged between 18 and 40 who can provide consent and is facing challenges such as inability to speak, vision and hearing loss, major limb amputation, quadriplegia, or paraplegia is encouraged to participate in their patient registry. Furthermore, the registration process involves providing a comprehensive medical history along with details about your current situation. They are also interested in learning about your education or work and the assistive technologies you currently utilize. Patients also have the right to withdraw their application at any point. Upon receiving a withdrawal request, Neuralink will conclude the analysis of the applicant's data. Additionally, the company will notify third parties who receive data from the patient registry to cease using the data and delete such information within a specified time frame. How is Neuralink going to conduct the human trials? According to Neuralink's information, the prime study or precise robotically implanted brain-computer interface will focus on assessing the device's functionality and safety. It will also evaluate the safety of the robotic system conducting the surgical implants. The study includes meticulous monitoring of any adverse events related to the technology, encompassing the risk of infection. The safety of both the implantation and removal processes is carefully considered. However, based on Neuralink's estimations, the prime study is expected to require an additional six years to complete these trials. The goal over the next six years. Buoyed by the positive outcomes from animal trials, Neuralink has received approval to conduct multiple surgeries on human brains. According to their plan, in 2024, Neuralink has permission to perform 11 brain implants. This number is projected to increase, with a total of 27 implants in 2025 and 79 in 2026. Looking ahead, if these implants prove successful, Neuralink's ultimate goal is to conduct 22,204 surgeries in 2030, aiming for exponential growth. This represents a truly audacious approach, revolutionizing both the medical and technology industries. In Elon Musk's extensive portfolio, Neuralink emerges as the most potentially game-changing endeavor, set to transform the lives of disabled individuals by creating a seamless interaction between human brains and machines. If you believe that Neuralink's groundbreaking brain implant has the potential to dissolve the barrier between ability and inability, go ahead and hit the like button. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below.